I, w I would like to thank everybody for coming out today. And we put this together largely because of uh, Craig Dunbar and his family's uh, search for a kidney for him. And I've been out there, I've been speaking up in, in favor of organ donation. Uh, obviously it's a cause that's very personal to me as, uh, you know, my time is running out without a kidney here. And, uh, well, you know, if by speaking out I can save other people. Uh, I myself am a registered organ donor, so although my kidneys are shot, uh, there are parts of my body that are still donatable, and if something were to happen, then, then I can save lives that way as well. So, uh, anybody can be a hero. Like my cousin Benina says, you don't need to wear a cape to be a hero. Uh, for a lot of people in Antio, I know you were in this boat too, uh, getting here today and having a look. I wasn't sure if I had been on the, uh, registered on the list or not. Absolutely, that's the thing. I had signed the back of my uh, driver's license back in the day thinking that I was in as well, and I wasn't. So it took me literally two minutes, a couple of questions, doing my kids as well. And you know what, I've met some wonderful people here today. I met someone who is part of that program that Frank spoke about, the Live uh, Donor Paired Program. It's an anonymous program, uh, so she has no idea who has her kidney, but she does know that she saved a life. I met another man here today who came down, just wanted to check things out and be a part of it because he is a kidney uh, recipient. 38 years ago, here he is right here. I had my kidney transplant 38 years ago this year. I had it in 1975, November the 1st at 6.30 at night. It is important because we know, for instance, that more than 1,500 people in Ontario are waiting a life-saving uh, operation. And yet, less than 25% of Ontarians have registered uh, their consent to be organ donors. And it only takes two minutes, literally two minutes, to come, it's all hooked up electronically, and we know that one organ donor can save up to eight lives. Think about that for a minute. One individual can save up to eight lives. We typically talk in Canada about 4,000 Canadians that are waiting for life-saving organ donation. Of those 4,000, 72% are waiting for a kidney donation. From my point of view, um, no, my license, I, I can't use my license as, a, as an excuse. I was a procrastinator. I did not sign up. I'm one of those 75% of Ottawans who have not signed up, and I took care of that today, and I hope some of you here that haven't signed up yet will do the same. You know, years and years ago, uh, when I was just a child, my father passed away when I was just 18 months old. And a couple of months after that, my mother went to the mailbox and got a letter out of the mailbox from the CNIB thanking my father and her uh, for his donation of his eyes. And because of his donation, there were some folks walking around who could see again for the first time in a long time. My wife passed away four months ago yesterday, and uh, she's 74. She'll come back and kill me for letting people know how old she was, but anyhow, they... Uh, I got a beautiful letter about three weeks ago from the eye bank. They were able to use both their eyes. I'm kidding. Yep. The organ donation program is not a program for one person. It's a program for the community. Each and every one of us could save a life just by taking two minutes to sit down uh, with an iPad and put in your credentials and sign your name. But you don't need to do it for a pin or a diamond. You need to do it because it's the right thing to do. And we know how generous the people of Ottawa are.